Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering Official. So today in this video, I'm going to explain you how to calculate this uh, diffuser sizing manually. So in my last tutorials, I explained you how to calculate uh, how to design the duct with uh, equal friction method uh, for the main duct as well as branch duct. And also I explain you how to design the duct with constant velocity method for the main duct as well as design duct. So in this video, I, will, I am going to explain you how to calculate the sizing for uh, how to do the sizing for uh, diffuser and uh, this supply and return diffuser. So before I start uh, this video, I would like to request you guys, please do subscribing whenever if you are not yet subscribe my channel. So please do subscribing and it's free of course. So please do subscribing and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever I upload the video, you will get the notification of that video. So let us start now. As you can see, this uh, branch is having uh, 345 CFM, CFM. That means this diffuser is also supply the 345 CFM only. So there is uh, one uh, formula, basic formula is there. So I will show you here. Let me put it here. Okay. So total CFM for uh, one diffuser is you can write here there is one formula actually Q is equal to A into V okay so where where Q is equal to air flow Air flow in CFM or liter per second. Okay, LPS. A is equal to area cross sectional area. Okay, cross sectional. area and v is nothing but the velocity okay so v is equal to velocity in feet per minute okay feet per minute or meter per second so this is the formula okay so in this uh, from this formula i am going to calculate the size of uh, this diffuser so in our case q is equal to q is equal to 345 cfm okay cubic feet per minute and uh, v max V max V max is equal to five feet per minute. Right, five feet per minute. For uh, the diffuser maximum velocity, we are taking five feet per minute. So from this formula, I am going to place this value in this formula. Q is equal to A into V okay so here q 345 is equal to a into velocity is 5 so i am going to calculate this a a is nothing but 345 divided by pi that means i am getting here Three hundred forty five divided by five, that means I am getting here sixty nine. Okay, three hundred forty five 
divided by 5 I am getting 69 square feet okay so 69 square feet uh, that means here uh, V is nothing but the air flow cubic feet per minute okay and here is feet per minute so feet per minute feet per minute going to be cancelled so I am going I got it here square feet okay 69 square feet let me enter here 69 square feet square feet so you have to convert this square feet into a square inch that means 69 into 144 so I will get here 69 into 144 oh sorry here is 5 feet I written here actually this 500 feet per minute okay so the maximum velocity for the diffuser is 500 feet per minute so you can place here 500 and now you can divide 345 divided by 500 that means 0 0.69 I am getting sorry let's be really sorry so 0.69 square feet here 0.69 square feet and you have to multiply into 144 just to convert in square inch okay so 99 square inch so you have to get the root of this that means 9 inch I am getting here 10 inch 9.9 .9 is nothing but the 10 so 10 inch is nothing but how much mm 10 is nothing but 25 250 mm okay so here I am getting 10 inch that is equal to 150 mm if you convert in mm so you will get it here 250 mm so this is how we are calculating the size of the diffuser so my size of the diffuser is here Hundred fifty, and that this duct size is. Uh, let me check here. Is twelve inch by eight inch. Okay. So we are getting here the two fifty by two fifty, and this uh, each diffuser size. Similarly, you can calculate for this uh, return uh, diffuser as well. For example, your, your, your return diffuser is CFM is 300, uh, 300 uh, Q is equal to 300 for uh, return diffuser. For example, okay, I am getting here. For example, uh, return ceiling diffuser at 300 CFM. Okay so that means q is equal to 300 cfm and v max v max is equal to 500 feet per minute okay so q is equal to same formula okay so q is equal to a into v that means a is equal to q by v okay that is equal to three hundred divided by five hundred I am getting here I am getting here three hundred divided by five hundred I am getting here point six okay point six inch that means here you can enter uh, 0.6 square feet this is the area so 0 0.60 square feet 
So convert this uh, into a square inch. That means you have to multiply with 144, so 86, and root of this is nothing but 9 inch again. So here. I am getting here 86 okay so 86 inches 86 inch 86 uh, square inch okay square inch inch square okay so if you convert in as uh, in inches so you have to calculate the root of this 86 so we are getting here 9 inch by 9 inch okay if you convert this into uh, if you convert this 9 inch into mm so you will get 1 inch is equal to 25 mm so we are getting here 225 so 225 by 225 mm is the size of the return ceiling diffuser so this is how we are calculating this uh, size of this uh, diffusers so i hope you guys learn something from this video if you learn something from this video so please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well and please like share and comment my video so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye